Yeah, my kids used to joke how they'd rather go up to the mountains than go to Disneyland. They just, they, they love it there. Generations of cattle ranchers. The Hawkins family has spent decades in Alpine. From when I was a girl, I don't remember ever not going up there in the summer. So my whole life, you know, building fences and doing things like that. It's been a tradition. After a long day of fishing, 15-year-old Brigham was ready to relax, heading to the bunkhouse to watch TV. The rest of his family in the cabin, just about 20 feet away. A bear came in to the cabin, um, and from behind the couch, he, um, from what we're, we're piecing together, came and um, scratched his face, just swatted and scratched his face. With Brigham's rare genetic disorder, Carol says his siblings have always looked out for him. He starts screaming. Had to hear him. He said it wasn't even loud and he wasn't even sure it was him, but he felt like he needed to go check on him. And he thought it was a dog. He thought it was a, a really large dog. But Arizona Game and Fish warns bears are unpredictable and even deadly. Just last June, a black bear killed a 66 year old man near Prescott, entering the campsite in an unprovoked attack. Quick thinking here from Brigham's older brother may have saved his life. When he got there, the bear turned around and saw him and uh, started chasing him. Brigham, left with cuts on his face and arms, was able to escape with the help of his dad, his older brother, outrunning the bear. No matter what you do, bad things can happen and just feel blessed that that things worked out the way they, they did. I really don't feel like it's luck. I just feel like it's blessings.